Um, I have a video of Michael Irving that was... Shit. Fuck. Damn. Ow. That go. hurt. <laughs> Damn. Fucking win. Ow. <laughs> Love my coffee in the morning. Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here for my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here. And let's wake up the football gods. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's Saturday. I hope you guys have had a great week. It's the weekend. The weekend is here. We're getting closer and closer to the NFL season. Season. I know I don't have this clock working. I've got I've had a little problem getting it going. I mean, go ahead and get another one of those YouTube clocks like I have down at the Red Brick House, but they're about two hundred dollars a piece. So we'll we'll see about that one. But I believe I, I don't even know. I've been back home here, so we might be down to like eighty days for all I know. It'll be nice when I do get back to the Red Brick House to see that and be surprised how close things are getting. And things, of course, are heating up. Because the contracts, you know, we've got all of the wide receivers have started to get taken care of. Can you see Justin Jefferson? He ended up getting the the uh, standard bearer contract, the thirty five million. You saw Waddle get his. You saw uh, uh, Devonte Smith get his. You know, everybody's getting their contract. Tariq Hill wants to get a new one and things. And we've got other ones. You know, C.D. Lamb that they're working on, and then the. Trevor Lawrence one, and I, I know I'm still revisiting this because it's just kind of crazy. Um, I, I get accused that the only thing I care about is Dak Prescott, that I'm not really a Cowboy fan. I only care about Dak Prescott. The reason I say it, it's kind of like this. If you see somebody driving off of a cliff, you want to stop them from driving off a cliff. You know that this is going to be bad. So you're trying to stop them. And I'm trying to do the same thing here with you guys who all just think you can just get another quarterback. You can just get another quarterback. You know, hearing things that are just insane. Now, I don't <clears throat> know if I'll get copyrighted. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll get copyrighted for this. But I have to. I want to play this because this is what you get right now. Because, see, this is kind of funny. It's kind of funny to me that when Justin Herbert got his contract and now when Trevor Lawrence got his contract, they say that those teams, they're set at quarterback. They're set at quarterback. You don't ever hear them say, well, that guy's kind of under pressure that, you know, he got the he got the bag and, and now he's got to perform. It's almost like they handicap them. Ahead of time. Dak Prescott, who if you go by Madden ratings, I think Dak Prescott is fifth on Madden ratings. Uh, Pro football focus has him as the number one quarterback in the NFC. Uh, almost every statistic that you have, he was second in yardage, uh, first in TD passes, way down low, 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 low on interceptions, runner-up MVP, and somehow Colin Cowherd and Nick Wrong don't think he's a top 16 quarterback. When it comes to Dak Prescott and Tua, they're on to prove it. Oh, they got to prove it. They got to prove it. Why they got to prove something? They didn't play better than those two guys. Listen to this, because this is where you have to say bullshit. Uh, it, it just disgusts me. Now, listen to this. You told me, and we had this conversation about 10 minutes ago. Glad y'all are here for it now. Dave said something interesting. You said Trevor Lawrence got paid because of what? Because of what he's go or what he can do, not yes. what he's going to do, what, what he can. So if he gets what he can do, what he can do, we already know what Dak Prescott can do. Hmm? Win in the regular season and not win in the playoffs. This isn't me taking a shot at Dak. He's been in the oh yes, it is. Sounds like it. It is taking a shot at. He's been in the league for eight years. We know what he can do. 
You pay Trev because of what he can do. What you believe Trevor Lawrence can do is take you far. Dak Prescott, you know, based upon the empirical data of the last eight years. Can so wait, wait, wait. So, so we we'll stop right there. Uh, what? How do you know he can take you far? How, how do you know you, he can take you far? What has he done in his career that says, yeah, that guy who is 50-50, I believe in his career. No, I'm sorry. Actually, he's not. He's not. He's okay. He is. What is his career record? Let's see, 16, uh, 30, 20 and 30. A guy who is 20 and 30 in his record with the Jaguars. You somehow know that he's going to take you to a Super Bowl? Let's go on a little more. Not take you far. So why in the world can Dak Prescott stand on the block of Trevor Lawrence's growth when Dak does not have the same high ceiling? We don't have to do this. We don't. We we know Matthew <laughs> Stafford had the greatest success. Of Wait a minute. So let 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 me let me do this. Let me do this. Okay. We're talking about Dak Prescott's ceiling. Trevor Lawrence, you could actually say, regressed last year. They first said his first year that he had a college coach that was an idiot. They got rid of him, and he just screwed him up. His second year, 25 TDs, 8 interceptions. That's not bad. But you could look and say, you kind of regressed because you went to 21 TDs, and you got six more interceptions. You had a thousand, excuse me, a hundred yards less. Your completion percentage went down by almost a point. Your success rate went down by two points. You got worse than the year before. And you had your team in a position to be the number one seed and failed going down the stretch, much like the Eagles, and missed the playoffs. Now, I'm going to say hypothetically, when you talk about Dak Prescott's ceiling, if we just take this year, this year, where he threw 15 more TD passes and six less interceptions. 15 more TD passes, six less interceptions. Do you think Jacksonville would be a playoff team this year? Do you? Do you think that Trevor Lawrence's ceiling is going to be higher than that? That Trevor Lawrence is going to have more than 36 or 37 TDs in a season in his career and, and nine or less interceptions? Be a runner-up for MVP? Because that's the ceiling that you're talking about. And we don't know. This is what's funny. This is what's funny. This is what's funny. Is we don't know what Dak Prescott's ceiling is. What if last year, those first five games where they were just getting used to this offense, where the offense really wasn't clicking versus what the offense did the second half? How do we know that Dak Prescott wouldn't have had 40 touchdown passes had the offense clicked the way it did earlier? Remember some of those games where C.D. Lamb had less than 53 yards and only a couple receptions without a running game? How do we know that Dak Prescott can't do 5,000 yards and 42 TDs? Because we act like, well, that's his ceiling. Well, actually, you look at his numbers, his ceiling seems to be consistent, with the exception of breaking his thumb. Because he had 37 TDs the year before he broke his thumb. He had 36 right there. It's kind of like with me. My weight typically was in the 256 to 260 range. Well, that kind of got reset. Now it's kind of like between the 260 to the 265 range. I'm trying to get it reset back down in the 250s. But that seems to be Dak Prescott's 30 to 37 TD range. Thus far, Trevor Lawrence in his three years is 12 to 25. So to say that his ceiling that he has, a, a, do, do we expect him to become Aaron Rodgers? 
of his career, way late into his career. It took John Elway until the final two years of his career to finally win a Super Bowl after losing several of them. The, the book's not written sure. until it, it's all the way over. I, do I know that Dak Prescott's going to win a Super Bowl? Absolutely not. But he turns 31 next month. Sure. He's only 30 years old. Okay. So you're still you're talking about a guy who's 30 who made all pro last year. A bet on Dak is but, a bet on what he can do. Uh, but what do Stafford, Elway, and Lawrence all have in common? More natural talent than Dak. Number one overall pick. Yeah, sure. So when you look about at Dak, why in the world would you want to pay him what you're going to pay Trevor? Because you've already said it. Trev didn't get paid because of what he's done. Family, he's 20 and 30 as a starter. He should not have gotten the same money as Joe Burrow, a number one overall pick. But he did because of the promise of the future. Dak does not give you that same promise at all whatsoever. And you know I do not hate Dak. I do not despise Dak. I do not despise when Dak got drafted. But we know Dak Prescott's ceiling. He's hit his head on it Which for eight years now. I don't necessarily think that's true. And look uh, back at the last. How is it not true? Okay, first, don't say eight years. Say, look at the last three. And look, I don't have a rebuttal to the playoff failure, <laughs> but in my opinion, Everybody in the Cowboys organization has Thank to wear you. that failure. It's on more than just your quarterback, though he is a big part of it. But the bottom line is 36 wins over the last three yes, years. Sir. Nobody but Patrick Mahomes has done that. And even as a lesser talent, I hate what I'm about to do. I'm not saying Dak is going to the Hall of Fame. But you look at players Whoa. like Drew Brees. Okay. You look at even players like Tom Brady. Okay. Again, I get it. Not saying he's going to win a bunch of Super Bowls. But guys drafted later in the draft. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady, sixth-round pick. Drew Brees, second-round pick. What point are you making? I don't I'm, like ma I'm going, making the point, point that at the age of 30, a quarterback who wins off of his – ability to dissect the field and do all of the mental aspect of quarterbacking like Dak, because let's be real, he is not this sure. physical specimen sure. like Trevor. Sure. Dak hasn't necessarily hit his ceiling, and a new deal is a bet that he has more room to grow. Dave, here's what my... is, what's crazy about the thought that a guy who is just now 30, again, who does not rely on sure. his physical ability to win, has yet to hit his ceiling. I don't know that that's true, Here's, but I know teams will be comfortable betting on it. Here's what's crazy about it to me. There is only one quarterback in the history of football who went to a Super Bowl with the team that drafted him af and won it after year eight. I believe that's Peyton Manning. Well, the funny so part, unless you believe that Dak Prescott has that same in their innate ability as a number one overall pick, Peyton Manning, <coughs> he's have to do something that only Peyton's done. Matt Ryan went... And lost. <coughs> now, you can go to another team, a la, you know, the Drew Breeses of the world. Say, the funny part is, go to another we team. don't know that Dak's going to be with the team that drafted but, but him. But the point here is, if the Cowboys pay him, I believe he's hit his... Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Um, I want you to understand here, when we talk about Trevor Lawrence, in his body of work, okay, his three years, he's had 58 TDs. And we're talking about his potential, which is why they pay, paid him. How about Dak Prescott in the same three years where Dak missed five games because of a broken thumb? Less games. Dak Prescott had 96 TD passes. 96 to the 58. 58 that Trevor Lawrence had. Now, I'm not trying to shit on Trevor Lawrence. I'm, I, that's not my... My thing here, but if you're going through and you don't have a problem with Trevor Lawrence getting paid, I don't know how it is you have a problem with Dak Prescott getting paid. Because as I look at quarterback statistics, okay, yardage, Dak Prescott, third in yardage, 4,516. Let's see. Where is Trevor Lawrence? Trevor Lawrence, 10th, 4,016. TD passes, Dak Prescott, 36. Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence, 15th. 15th, wow. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. 15th. All the damn ads. Good Lord, Pro Football Focus. TD percentage. Dak Prescott, second. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, 21st. 
21st. Interceptions. Trevor Lawrence, 6th. Dak Prescott, 16th. So, these numbers are insane when you compare the two of them. Now, here's the other point I want to make here, too. You do realize that in 2020, that Deshaun Watson was the highest paid quarterback at $46 million, and everybody went crazy. Oh, my God, 46 Pat Mahomes was 45 uh, Kirk Cousins was 45 and Josh Allen was 43 And we thought that was just crazy. And then Aaron Rodgers hit the $50 million mark. And then last year, we had... Joe Burrow hit 55. We had Lamar hit 51. Hertz hit 51. Um, Justin Herbert hit 53. The natural progression basically is like a five, six million dollar increase every year. It's the natural progression. It's the way it is. Now, you may not agree and look and say that Dak Prescott isn't the best quarterback in football. And doesn't deserve to be the highest paid. Well, it's only a monetary, a momentary thing because guys like Jimmy G, Derek Carr, Kirk Cousins, Matt Ryan have all been the highest paid quarterbacks in football and not necessarily deserving it. And this is where you have to say the guy has done his due. And for all those out there, he's hit his ceiling. There's a lot of quarterbacks that wish their ceiling was what Dak Prescott had. I want to go to Pat McAfee because he says something in here that is, it's kind of deep in, but he talks about the situation with Dak Prescott and all that. And one of the problems for the Cowboys is they're having to pay Dak that $55 million, that big hit, because he's lived up to his whole contract. You can look and turn around and say the Eagles cut Kirk Cousins. I'm excuse me, not Kirk Cousins, cut uh, Carson Wentz and had to pay a boatload of money because he wasn't performing. You can look at Russell Wilson and say Denver had to cut him and pay a boatload of money because they weren't performing. This guy has performed and has earned his money. Jaguars is the highest paid quarterback per year in the history of the NFL. Five year, $275 million American dollars down in Florida with no state income tax. With $200 million practically guaranteed and $142 million guaranteed at signing. Congrats to Trevor Lawrence. Hey. I will say you can find some stats, obviously, that'll make Trevor Lawrence look very good. You can find some stats that'll make Trevor Lawrence look very bad. But all the Jacksonville Jaguars are saying is we think we can win with Trevor. And if we don't have Trevor, we won't be able to win. We don't want to have to go down that road of trying to find out who our next quarterback is after giving up on a guy that we drafted number one overall. We had a future in and we've seen his development. Now, there was one year where he was being coached by a college coach Hall of Famer. Yeah, that's right. Did not work out at all in the NFL. College coach Hall of Famer was coached him they probably saw that up close in person and said listen his development for one year maybe it's a little bit different but you got old peterson in the building former quarterback a super bowl winner now as the head coach you got the offense rolling if he can stay healthy which last year they were rolling until he got hurt a couple different times he got hurt i think he had a knee i think there was a concussion i think there was some ankle there was a lot of shit that took place in his game obviously dropped afterwards but what he was doing before then was like okay this is the trevor lawrence that we had been told about since he was a freshman in high school this was to be the next one. There's photos of him coming out from high school where you, if you don't look at the main uh, character mm-hmm. of the photo and you look around, it's like feels like this guy has some grit, some yeah, charm for sure. to yeah. him and mm-hmm. uh, congrats to him on getting the most money of all time. Now, as an Indianapolis Colt um, fan, I am thankful they spent uh, $275 million at quarterback position, yep. okay, because no matter how big the salary cap gets, which it's certainly going to only continue to go up, up and to the right is what the NFL is. That is a high percentage per year being contributed to one position. Mm -hmm. Now, can Trevor Lawrence win these games without having to pay anybody else? They're going to find out. They believe that's the case, and uh, good for him. Now, Dak Prescott sees this, and he gets... 
Uh, yeah. Probably pretty jacked up. Uh-huh. Yeah. If I had to guess. Tua. I, I would assume. Tua. Tonga Valoa, who obviously had an incredible run last year in the year before as the head or as the quarterback. He has eyes on this. Jordan Love, yeah. who's allegedly yeah. going to have a deal done before the season starts, has eyes on this. He's already had more postseason success than Trevor Lawrence has ever thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. And he's only played a couple years. So this is like a new market, new precedent. Deshaun Watson still has the highest guarantee guarantee of $230 million. Yep. Because practical guarantee, I I don't – then it's not a guarantee. Like the injury guarantee? Is that what it is? Yeah, and they say it's practical guarantee. Like Deshaun Watson's the only one. Like his actual guarantee at sign, $230 million. His practical guarantee, uh, $230 million. Okay, that's cool. Practical guarantee here is like like $80 million more. $70 Seventy million more yeah. for yeah. Joe Burrow. It's like that's a big difference of yeah. practical. And how does the word practical and guarantee? How are they allowed to be next to each other? I, I don't know definitions, but guarantee is like it's guaranteed. guaranteed. Yeah. You're guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> so then there's a practical guarantee. I feel like that's maybe a baby face spin on somehow that they're potentially not going to pay the people mm-hmm. all their money, but they're saying practically it'll show up. It's like that's an interesting usage of words that I didn't know you were allowed to put next to each other, but it's a lot of money. They should be pumped, and Deshaun Watson is still the one that has the most that he's going to get guaranteed no matter how terrible he does, no matter how many games he plays, and no matter what happens with the Cleveland Browns. It seems like practical guarantee is the new thing they do now since we kind of realized all the bullshit behind, yeah. like, hey, the actual <laughs> contracts. I mean, yeah, it, it, I, I didn't want to say it, but it is. It's it's kind of con, uh, contractual mumbo jumbo, if, if, if we're being completely honest. Because when we started realizing, you know, all these guys would get these contracts, say four years, two hundred million dollars, and then we'd find out what they're actually making. It's like, okay, well, that's, eighty-two yeah, million, yeah, eighty-two million guaranteed. If they cure COVID, which I don't know if it's, mm, uh, they did already. Well, Trent already. Dilfer did. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, spray, spray. Uh-huh. spray. Yeah. Had that spray. Yeah, so I mean, we'll he should have got a bazillion dollars. Should've. He should have that spray. He just spread it down. COVID's dead here. Yeah. Hang he loves, the sign. Loves ball too much. COVID don't live here. <laughs> yeah. How exactly. come? Because the spray. That was, those were wild dimes. That was really cool. to make money. He did it to play ball. in some of those contracts, hey, man. Hey, man, he just wants the boys to play football. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They need football. You're what Tom Brady said. Right. But, yeah, a lot of these deals for a long time, as they were being reported by actual journalists, you know? Oh, yeah. People that don't get things wrong. They're being reported, you know, actual. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yep. And thank God for them, thank you God. know? <laughs> Thank Hell yeah. God That's right. for them. But what was being reported is like a deal that was never going to be actually seen to fruition. It was like, okay, if you uh, if you can walk on water to get the last $100 million, you can. Okay, we're going to put it right at the end. Yep. All you got to do is get 20 yards. You walk right across the top of this water. It's been done before, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. right. It's been done before. Mm-hmm. Somebody's done it. Documented. That's another $200 million. If you can't do that, yeah, it's obviously not a $300 million deal. It's actually only a $100 million deal. That was shit that was being said. That, that was actually happening in contracts. And who who was benefiting from that? Well, I guess agents would benefit from that because they were negotiating these deals that were absurd. Right. Like, I just negotiated hundreds of millions of dollars in contracts. It was actually worth $50 million. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you didn't actually. Insiders were obviously, yep. and news was benefiting from this. The NFL was benefiting from this because they were paying their players so yeah. much. Business is booming. So much money. So much mm-hmm. money is being and paid out to these guys. The people that really lost, uh, now granted they won because they did make money, so they're in no position to complain. But the players, that money that they're never getting is announced publicly that they are getting. Right. So, you know, family. See, this is the difference. Friends, oh, yeah. Right. Charitable foundations that are around you, hometown, community. Yep. Everybody's just like, hey, 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 hey. And it's like, that's not real. That's not real. It does feel like we're getting to a time where shit's getting a little bit more real in the announcements. <clears throat> and I think the reason why it's getting that way is because the numbers are so big, mm-hmm. so big right now that they don't have to kind of, uh, you know, um, like kind of make up or kind of rig the numbers because of how big they are. Two hundred and seventy five million dollars is so going right money. for a quarterback right now? Sir. Yeah. Who ha- yep. hasn't won a playoff game? That is so much money. No, he like won Dak one. Prescott. He's got one. Do not sign the any deal. Against. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Four four <clears throat> picks in the first half it, comes yeah, back. Exactly. Yep. That, it's that yeah, mental yeah. tie. He's a great yeah. Right. That guy is a dog. He's won there. But if you're Dak Prescott, <laughs> he is praised for his fourth season. Free agency. Yeah. Like and you're Dak? Yeah. Do it. Hundred percent. Three hundred million guarantee is like a conversation because all you need is two people interested. Mm-hmm. Let alone if there's four. 
or five. Who knows how many there will be. be. Allegedly for Deshaun, whenever he was <laughs> asking to be re uh, released by the Houston Texans before everything that happened, he was asking to be released. There was like four teams involved. Mm -hmm. There was the Falcons, the Saints, the Panthers, I think, and the Browns. Now, mm -hmm. every other team was kind of asking, but those teams were like, allegedly, now what do we know? What's real? What isn't real? Yeah. Shout out to the journalists always getting it right, not lying about anything. Uh, <laughs> Dax market would be through Gigantic. the roof. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. All you need is one billionaire or two billionaires or three billionaires to be sick of losing. Like, think about the Giants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, if it, they've already paid a shit ton of money mm -hmm. to a quarterback. It's not working. They have another down year. You don't think Omara, who's already been on the record of saying, I'm sick of telling my friends that we suck and why we suck. Mm -hmm. like that, that is the actual <laughs> decision to, to make at the end of the day. If you're going to pay somebody $300 million, <coughs> you need a couple of, what about the Raiders? What if the Raiders oh have God, everything yeah. going and they don't, they for some reason can't figure out the quarter? I hope they can. I'm not saying they can't. But let's say they can. You think Mark Davis is just going to continue to sit back? No. No way. They're going to, they already dump money into Jimmy G. I mean, they will. Dak they will dump money. And what are the Cowboys going to do? Yeah. There is so, oh my God. If Stafford retires and in mm -hmm. LA, they just, you know, like the Chargers are starting to kind of, you know, it's like you don't think Dak in LA, they wouldn't offer him, you know, a boatload of money. $175 million. For and Trevor. You this earlier as a part of another eye opening reason for it. And we're happy for him. This is just a surprise. Yeah. This is a surprise that Trevor mm -hmm. Lawrence got this big of a contract. Shout out to his agent. I assume it's Mulligat. I have no mm -hmm. idea. I, I have, I have no I'm, idea. I'm gonna, leave, no I'm gonna leave it right there because this this is just insane. But you know, again, <laughs> Dak doesn't deserve to get paid, but Trevor Lawrence does. Make it make sense, good people. I hope you guys are having a great day or have a great day. Uh, don't forget tomorrow's Father's Day. You know the difference, of course, between Father's Day and Mother's Day. Mother's Day, she gets flowers, she gets taken out to dinner, and everything else. Father's Day. They're expecting you to cook on the grill. I'm Mark Holmes, and don't forget Dad. Peace out. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you.